So you're going to need a couple supplies for this. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a small triangle. And you're going to need a pencil with an eraser. You're going to do a lot of erasing. So you have to have an eraser for this. So first thing you want to do is draw a line straight across your paper. About in the middle. You don't have to measure. And this is the horizon line. Then you're going to put a dot about in the center. Doesn't matter if it's not exact. This is the vanishing point. The next thing that you want to do is draw a rectangle on the right side of your paper below the vanishing point. And you want it to be as straight and true of a rectangle as it can be. You don't want wonky sides. Okay, so you, you're going to draw a rectangle on the right side to the right of the vanishing point and below the horizon line. Okay? Push pause if you need to. Then you're going to draw another rectangle. Doesn't have to be the exact same size or shape, but it's also going to be fairly small. And it's going to be below the horizon line to the left of the vanishing point. Go ahead and push pause while you draw that second rectangle. Okay, next thing that you're going to do is draw a line, three lines, one from each corner of the rectangles that will end at the vanishing point. So line the ruler up with this corner of your rectangle and the vanishing point. Draw a line to the vanishing point. All of these lines you want to draw, draw super lightly because a lot of them or portions of them will get erased. Okay, so lines from each corner of the rectangle to the vanishing point. We're not going to draw a line from this corner because it would be hidden behind the building. Okay, and then I'm going to do it the same way from the other rectangle. From each corner to the vanishing point. Okay, push pause while you do what I just did. Okay, next step is to, you're going to cut off the buildings wherever you want them to be cut off because right now these buildings are going on and on and on into infinity and that's impossible. So um, you want to cut them off somewhere as wide as you want it. You could have a really narrow building or you could have a wider building. Cut mine off right here. So this line should be perfectly parallel to this side of that original rectangle that you drew, okay? And then the next place we're going to draw a line is from the top of this line we just drew over. So this line is parallel to the top of the original rectangle that we drew, okay? Just like that. And then you can erase the rest of these guidelines that you drew to the vanishing point. Okay, I'm going to leave this bottom guideline 
because that will eventually sort of be the bottom line of the buildings, all of the buildings that will be along there, or the street, or the sidewalk, or whatever. Um, I'm going to do it on the other side real quick, so watch one more time before you try it. So I'm going to cut this building off right here, okay? And this line is parallel to the line, this side of the original rectangle. And then from the top of that line, I'm going to draw over, and I want it to be as parallel as possible to this top line of the original rectangle that I drew. And then I can erase my guidelines that go to the vanishing point. Okay, push pause while you cut off your buildings and erase your guidelines. All right, the next step is to add more buildings. So I am gonna put another line. I'm gonna leave a tiny space between the back end of this building and my next building. And with this one, I'm gonna go a little bit taller. I'm gonna go up above the horizon line, okay? And basically we're drawing another rectangle just like this front face of this rectangle. We're drawing another one of those but part of it's going to be hidden behind this first building. So then draw over as far as you want and then down. And now I need to draw a line to the vanishing point from my corners just like we did the first time. Okay, I can't draw a line to the vanishing point from this corner because it will be hidden behind that building, all right? That's what happens when you go above the horizon line. You can no longer see the roof of the building. This building is below the horizon line, so we can see the roof. This building is above the horizon line, so we can't see the roof. Then I'm gonna cut off this building wherever I want it to be cut off. And then I'm gonna erase that guideline down to the vanishing point. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Draw a line straight up. This one I kind of want a really tall building. Bring it up a little higher. And then I need to finish that rectangle. Bring it over, bring it down. So here's my front rectangle face but part of it's hidden behind my first building here. And then from the top of that rectangle, I'm gonna draw straight down to the horizon line, sorry, to the vanishing point. At some point, you start saving yourself time and you don't have to draw out that entire guideline. You can just draw part of it and then draw down and then you don't have to erase all the time. Um, so there I have two buildings on each side, and now um, if you need to push pause, push pause now and get to where I am so that you have a total of four buildings, okay? Okay, the next step is to work on windows and doors. So windows and doors are a little bit tricky. Um, if you look at, so this front face of the building, both all of the front faces, the faces that are closest to us, where we're standing from our vantage point, these front faces are perfectly normal rectangles. So the windows that are on those faces will also be perfectly normal rectangles. The faces of the buildings that are moving away from us, moving toward the vanishing point, these faces, the top and the bottom of the buildings go toward the vanishing point. So the top and the bottom of the windows should also be drawn toward the vanishing point. Let me show you what I mean. So right here, draw three windows on this front face. 
and they should be perfectly normal rectangles. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw three windows on this face of the building that's moving away from us. The sides of the windows are straight up and down vertical, just like the sides of the buildings, okay? Actually, all the vertical lines in our entire drawing are straight up and down vertical, okay? So from the top of that line I just drew, I'm going to draw the top of the window and notice I'm lining my ruler up with the vanishing point. The tops and the bottoms of windows and doors get drawn toward the vanishing point. Just like the tops and bottoms of those sides of the buildings. Okay. And then I can draw in the other side of my windows. And this side of the window should be perfectly parallel to the other side of the window that we drew. Okay, so it should look like that. And then if we wanted to draw a door, here I'll draw a door on the side, it's exactly the same thing. The sides of the doors are parallel to each other. The top and the bottom of the door should be drawn toward the vanishing point. On this one, because it's sitting on the bottom of the building, the bottom of the door has already been drawn. And then the other side of the door, as well as a split between the doors, if you're doing double doors, those will be straight up and down vertical. Okay? So that is the basics of one point perspective. Let's see if I can give you a better view. Here.